During his rugby career, Martin Johnson gained the reputation as a fearsome opponent, so it was with some apprehension that we asked England's World Cup winning captain to tackle these. I hear you like your stats. I'm not like, I, I, I like quirky bits of information. I'm not, I'm not a stats man, numbers man. I like facts more than stats. So first question, you played 84 games for England. Correct. How many tries did you score? Two. And who were they against? The USA. Correct. And Italy, both at Twickenham. <laughs> Combined distance, 20, 22 yards. Do you remember the years? Italy was the, um, okay, the 96 game. Correct. And USA was a 99 World, World Cup warm-up game. Too good for me. Out of those 84 games, how many did you make as a sub? Um, two. Italy. Correct. 2002. Yep. Uruguay, 2003. Well, your debut yeah, was against France in 1993. How many of the England backs can you name from that day? All of them. Go on. John Webb. Yeah. Rory Underwood. Yeah. Jerry Guskett. Yeah. Will Carling. Correct. Tony Underwood. No. Actually, no, it was Ian Hunter. It was. Ian Hunter scored as well. Rob Andrew. Correct. Darry Morris. Too good. What else you got? Go on, quick, quick. Okay. Which captain did you play the most tests under? Will Carlin. Do you know how many? I could add them up if you pause it. One, two... 25, 26, 27... No, 24. 23. Very close. He might, <laughs> yes, he missed one of the World Cup. I can't one of the World Cup when he didn't play. Which... Which player played in your first and last game for England? Jason Leonard. Correct. Now, you're obviously very tall, but can you guess how many red telephone boxes piled on top of each other it would take to make the height of the London Eye? Seventy-five. Close, 64, is 135 metres. There you go. Thank you very much. No problem.